So you're the one that picked a fight with my sentries. The sensors also pick up your battle in space. You've had a pretty busy day. That ends now. No more fighting in our camp. I am Mandalore, leader of the Mandalorians. Mandalore is the name we give to our leader. Becoming Mandalore is the greatest honor any Mandalorian could aspire to. When our leader falls in battle, the most worthy takes his place. So even though your army killed our leader, it was only a matter of time before we chose someone new. Me. Uh, scattered, perhaps. But we're still alive. Alive and rebuilding. This used to be the heart of the Mandalorian war effort. From this complex, we commanded an armada that had the Republic on the run. It didn't last. Mandalorians have a rapport with this jungle. Every moment here is a struggle. All creatures gripped in a constant war for survival. The sole purpose of the weak is to feed the strong. We train here and learn the lessons of the jungle. The beasts also help us keep our edge. Covert camps are not meant to attract attention. Because we conquered them, the people of Onderon still hold a grudge against the Mandalorians. So we keep our presence here a secret. So it's transportation you want. It so happens I have a small shuttle that's more than capable of running the Onderon military blockade. I make occasional trips to Isis for information and supplies. If you want to go with me, you're going to have to prove your worth. I don't travel with anyone I'm not sure of. You look capable, but Isis can be a dangerous place. If you want to travel on my shuttle, I want to make sure you aren't going to be a liability. Figure it out yourself. Ask around. See if you can make yourself useful, or something that'll show what you're made of. There is one thing. Before your ship landed, we were preparing some demolition work. All the activity forced my men to stop before they finished. The charges need to be detonated before anybody comes across them, so all you'd have to do is flip the switch. You asked if there was anything you could do, and I told you. Nothing in this jungle is as simple as it seems, though. We were trying to uncover the entrance to a hidden cache of old Mandalorian equipment. The explosives should be easy to find. Just get to it before the Canucks do. The last month before Duxon fell, the old Mandalore knew that Revan and the Republic were gaining the upper hand. He ordered our best engineers to hide caches of weapons and munitions throughout the moon, safely away from the enemy's hands. Don't you think they tried? It's real easy to hide things in a jungle. Even when they found some of our caches, our engineers left them some presents. Canucks are nothing more than pests, but they have a real talent for screwing up plans. Just get to those explosives in the next day or so and you'll be fine. I'll let Kex know that you check out. We found more gear than we can use, so you can trade with him if you need some more supplies. Be careful in the jungle. Our patrols have stopped until the space traffic dies down. The challenging beasts have been cleared from the area, but what's left might still be too much for you. What do you want? All scouts report in. All scouts. 
My life is yours. Real knowledge can only be gained through combat. 
Perhaps we can learn from one another in time. This is not a battlefield, Jedi. If it were, I trust you wouldn't have the same opinion. I prepare and train, readying my mind and weaponry for a real challenge. Peace is not our natural element. Mandalorians handle it differently. I focus on educating myself in the martial techniques I will need to succeed in the next war. This is our battle circle. You should leave us. This place is for Mandalorians alone, even if the sergeant lets you fight with us. You will never truly be one of us. So you are the visiting Jedi. You aren't much to look at. So, the Jedi comes to grace us. The battle circle is reserved only for real warriors. Your Jedi ways won't help you here. For today, I have the honor of commanding the battle circle. I decide who fights who and make sure all the rules are followed. Jedi rely too much on their vaunted powers. They lose touch of the power of their arms and feet. Without your force, would you be a match for even the lowliest of Mandalorian warriors? If you want to try and fight us on our terms, that can be arranged. We are not merchants. We are Mandalorians. The only thing gained and lost here is honor, and perhaps some skill, if you have the capacity to learn. Be careful when you ridicule a Mandalorian. If Mandalore hadn't ordered us, is there anything else you want to talk about? You are new here, so you will fight Davril. He is young and has not been able to prove himself in battle. Davril, what are your terms? No weapons, no Jedi tricks, and no items. Just fist and foot. A true test of strength. Put your weapon away, Jedi. Don't step out of the circle and pull any death blow. No one dies in the battle circle. Step into the battle circle. Now you will experience a true fight. Jedi 
is over. The Jedi is the clear and honorable victor. If you want to fight again, let me know. For Mandalore! Here to watch a fight or to participate. You choose to fight again. Now face a real Mandalorian warrior. Tagrin, what are your terms? Just fist and foot like you fight with Devlin. Nothing else. Tagrin chooses to fight hand to hand. Remember, no weapons allowed, and absolutely no use of your force. Jedi and Tagrin is over. Tagrin is the clear and honorable victor. Against any full Mandalorian, it appears you cannot win. Come back if you want a rematch. I'm sure that Tagrin could use the exercise. Found 
Not in an old weapons cache, but flaming Canox, ain't it? That's a problem with Canox. They'll leave you alone if you keep your distance. But if you turn your back on the pests, they'll eat anything they can get in their mouth. Just gut every Canox you come across. You wouldn't believe the things you can find in those little beasts. All right then, come back when you have the converter and we can see about getting these systems working again. Damn it. Damn it. Jungle is too Any progress with the repairs or the phase pulse converter? Good to hear it. I've been low on parts, otherwise I would have been able to get to that. Damn it. Jungle is taking over everything. This place is a mess. This place is a mess. We've called off our patrols outside the camp. We usually find some entertainment in clearing out the worst of the beasts. But without our patrols, some of the larger beasts may be around. None of us will be around to bail you out of trouble. You've been warned. Our sensors picked up three ships landing in this area after the space battle. If any of the Onderon military come searching for those ships, we don't want them finding our base. I don't know. It was some sort of freighter. It didn't land in any of the clearings along the path. Knowing some of the larger Duxon beasts, the crew is probably already dead. The people of Onderon still live in fear of us. They were the first world we conquered in the Mandalorian Wars. Their resistance was laughable. We cut through their defenses like vibral blades through cloth. Isis fell within hours. If they knew we were here, they would eventually gather enough courage to attack us. It is not a battle we wish to wage. Yet. Who knows? Our relay dish is down, and until Zuko repairs it, we're blind. The Onderon military has cordoned off the planet, so there shouldn't be anybody else down here. Still, our sensors occasionally pick up signals on the surface. It's like someone is searching the planet, and doing so under the noses of the military. Whoever they are, they've stayed clear of us. I don't know. Duxun's all jungle except for this camp. If you want to pitch in, go ahead. Zuka hasn't been able to get the damn thing up and running. You can find him in the eastern side of camp, just south of the hangars. Look for the sparking wires, and he won't be far. We heard reports of a Zakeg wandering the paths around here. They're a good challenge for Mandalorians. If you see one, stay out of its way. Without us to back you up, you'll be dead in seconds. It's a huge red lizard that's built like a Baragwan battle tank. It has a hide so thick it might as well be Durasteel plating. We keep clearing them out of the area, but they keep coming back. They're tough opponents for non-Mandalorians. You fight a Zakeg. If you survived such a battle, you'd gain much honor. Strong words. It would be amusing to see you try to kill such a beast. Try the outlying jungle paths if you're determined to seek one out. And bring me back a trophy from your kill as proof of the deed. Sisters, 
freighter pilots, technicians, or quartermasters. There's honor there, but it's nothing compared to the heat of battle. For someone young like me, this task is distasteful. There are many battles left in me, yet I'm relegated to this. My predecessor was loading equipment from Cache D5. Mandalorian engineers must have worked the double shift on that one. The old quartermaster was carrying out a load of blast converters all straight into a beam splitter. Pieces of them wound up all over. So I got the job, and here I am. It's bad enough I have to stand here and pass out supplies while the others go on patrol. I'm not going to disgrace myself further by being your guide. The only advice I'll give you is, when you're in the jungle, shoot anything that moves. Then shoot the things that don't move, just to be sure. Yeah, I do. I don't know why Mandalore would let some outsider roam around our camp without an escort. If it were up to me, you would have been shot on sight. Mandalore must think you're something special. I won't, as long as the Mandalore's orders stand. If he wants you dead, though then I'm going to be the first one gunning for you.